Hello, I am Jamie Lawson, and it's December 30th, about like 9.20 in the morning, but 2017, and it's just, yeah, I didn't really <laughs> end up updating throughout the past year and eight months at all, but nothing went how I thought it was in the last two videos. It didn't go how I thought it was going to go. Um, I didn't end up getting the endocrinologist that I thought. I didn't end up having surgery. Um, obviously, I'm. you can kind of tell that I'm on hormones. I have been for a year and three months, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, since September 28th, 2016. But it's just incredible. To, I just watched my past two videos, and it helps me to see them. Because I'm so glad that I recorded them. I thought I deleted them. But I'm so glad that I didn't, because... God. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't even realize how far I've come. And it just makes me really happy to see everything that's changed. And <laughs> I couldn't even I couldn't even tell what I sounded like or looked like back then. I thought I was like manly, I, like super manly. I thought my voice was like passable, but like oh my god, <laughs> like it just makes me so happy to see the video and to know how far everything's come and to know that it's it, it's not worthless taking the shot once a week and progressing and working towards it. I am working on getting top surgery. I moved from California to Washington, and I'm working on getting... I have the top surgeon that I want. I talked to them. I'm working on insurance, trying to get it covered. It isn't covered, but I'm trying to see if there's other doctors that I can go to um, um, that are covered, because I don't want to have to pay <laughs> for it all because it's super expensive but i am saving up just in case i can't get insurance but um yeah so i just wanted to make this video because i just watched the old ones and i just i haven't updated in a year and a half so here i am finally on it i actually went to planned parenthood there are special planned parenthoods with um specialists for uh trans issues and I went to the one in Sacramento, California, at on B Street, and they were super nice. I got my prescription within an hour safely, and I'm it's been over a year and a half, and I still don't have really a set doctor and endocrinologist, but there is one that I'm going to in Bellingham, Washington, as well as Cedar River Clinic in Tacoma, and... I'm trying to get into Tacoma because that's where I live, but um, it's closer. So, but there are specialists like specifically towards transgender people where Planned Parenthood, you know, they have their little section and it's a lot further away. But she actually is just as good as an endocrinologist. You know, she does the same stuff, she's got the same certifications. Um,. She actually let me know what my levels were. She gave me all the information I needed. Everything that I was kind of worried about without having an endocrinologist for so long. And I'm still looking to get one. And my, just thinking of that, my mom actually helped me finding some doctors and getting everything set. And she's just come a long way. My whole family's come a long way. I've come a long way. And it's just really nice <laughs> to be able to see those videos. I'm so glad I didn't delete them or get rid of them. And here I am a year and eight months later. Well, from then. But uh, have, having gotten on testosterone like five months after that, not even the way I planned. But here I am now being the person I want to be and everything is just so much better. So wonderful. Like, there were and still are a lot of hard times with it, and I didn't pass 100% of the time until I was about 
a year on, uh, like, I just started passing almost 100% of the time, knock on wood. Uh, there's none nearby. But, um, until about three months ago. So, if you're, it, wh whoever's watching this, if this is me in the future, hello future me. But, um, it did get better. It, it, it worked, like, it, it worked the way I wanted it to. It, not everything that I wanted to happen is happening, but it, I'll get there. I'll get to where I want to be. You know, there's always progress, but I'm so much happier now than I ever was. And I'm not saying that you need hormones or, uh, you know, reassignment or anything like that to feel happy. But for what I wanted, life is just where I want it to be right now. And it's just feeling so much better. And everything's looking up. And even though I haven't had top surgery yet after years... <laughs> I'm gonna get there, just like I did with hormones. Hormones, I thought, were never gonna come. And then years later, it happened, you know? So maybe it's just not my time yet to have top surgery, but I'll get there eventually. It'll happen. And if it doesn't, I just need to enjoy life anyway. But, well, it'll happen eventually. So just an update video, mainly for myself, just to watch progress happen because there even though i have progressed so much there's still so much more change emotionally and probably physically that i i will happen that will happen but so i didn't have any facial hair before no i got little scruffs but super excited about all that my eyebrows thickened um my hair didn't really change too much maybe just a little bit right here um, I have, like, a little bit of an Adam's apple. My voice is deeper. Um, I got hair everywhere. You'll hear that a lot. But, like, uh, everything just changed. I got a bunch of, like, the first month or two, I was super, not super aggressive, but, like, a little bit easier to agitate. Um, not angry per se, but I was easier set off for a while, and then once everything regulated and settled down, I was the same me, just more confident, and, um, less, you know, I, people don't walk all over me anymore, I'm more confident, I'm more myself, I'm who I want to be, um, and I'm just really happy uh, at where I am in my life, where my career, my transition so far, I do you want these gone? That's the one thing that I'm, like, not the happiest about, but it's gonna happen. And so I just gotta stay positive, and everything's gonna just go up from here, hopefully. So, bye future me, and I'll see you in the future.